I mentioned earlier that dementia should go so slow. Um, there are rapidly progressive dementias. These people go from totally well to full-blown dementia, typically in a period of weeks to months, and often almost always die within a few years. Um, the one you need to know about is CJD, Prinzville Jakob's disease, which is a prion disorder, right? So think of, I mean, that is a misfolded protein that can infect other cells is sort of how I would think about it. It almost always is sporadic, meaning that it just happens. I think we all have heard stories or I don't know, my, I had someone in my anatomy lab in med school who didn't want to dissect the brain because they didn't want to get prion disease. Corneal transplants, like acquired prion disease is extraordinarily rare. And then sometimes this can be familial, but you don't have to worry about that. Typically causes like, again, just all of the dementia symptoms that you can think of fast. Um, the sort of ones that you might look for to help you pick this one out, the startle myoclonus, they'll mention that when the doors open or someone claps that there's jerks in the patient. So myoclonus is a brief increase in tone. A hiccup is myoclonus. So think of that in muscles in the body. Um, this disorder is universally fatal. The MRI has suggested features that we're not gonna go through, but just so you know, they're there. Um, you do have to know that the EEG can show periodic sharp waves. I don't know why they expect you to memorize EEG details, but that's what they are. And then CSF uh, 1433 protein is the one that's most commonly tested. In real life, that's sort of nonspecific. I, I think sometimes I've seen in questions, they can ask them, but the RT quick is the one that's more specific for CJD, but 